hi guys welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Andile and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing a couple of outfits and I'm very excited for this video because it's actually one that you guys helped me with a little while back I'm even ashamed to admit <laughs> when I did this but if you follow me on Instagram you will know that I had posted on my story uh, for you guys to send me some scenarios um, that I could dress up for. So for example, I got a scenario like an outfit you would wear to dinner, you know, with the girls or something like that. And so in today's video, I will be dressing up for those scenarios and I figured that this would be a good way to do a styling video that you guys can be a part of and also a good way for me to show a little more versatility in my wardrobe because I feel like whenever I do styling videos I can't help but stick within you know my usual vibe of how I dress but that's not, that's not always consistent in real life when I'm actually going out or um, traveling, I don't know, or something like that. So I figured that this would be a good way for me to realistically show you how I would dress for each occasion. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so before I get into this look, I just want to mention that I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts because you guys gave me so many scenarios and if I do them all in one video, it's going to take too long. So I figured I would split it up into kind of like the spicy scenarios that you guys gave me and then the more casual scenarios. And everything will be linked in the description box. If not the exact items, I will have similar items below for you guys to shop. Okay, so I started with the first night out with the girls after this lockdown. Okay, so I wanted to start with this look because this has already happened and so this look was easy to style for me. Um, I have two looks for this scenario and this is the first one. I actually initially wore this look with boots and this time I'm just wearing um, heeled sandals but I've already packed away my boots for the season so I don't have them close by. But I'm just wearing this black crop top that I got from Princess Polly and then my trousers are from Mango, super comfortable um, and stylish but I feel like also appropriate for a night out. I don't actually remember what bag I wore that night but I just went ahead and picked out this Louis Vuitton bag um, because it's black and it goes with the look and then the shoes that I'm wearing are the very old Off-White and Jimmy Choo collab and um, I would actually re-wear this look with these shoes and I just feel like you can never go wrong with all black, it's super comfortable. This look was perfect because it's very me but at the same time if I'm trying to get crazy and I'm like trying to twerk, you know the pants are kind of baggy enough. You know when like when you're twerking it's best to wear something that is a little loose so that it actually looks like your ass is shaking a lot more than it is. That's these pants for me. And um, I just wanted to be comfortable, so this is the look that, that I went for. Okay, so this is the second look that I wore when my friends and I went out a different time. And this was more of, it was supposed to be a day into night event, but we actually ended up getting there pretty late. Um, so that's why I had gone for a skirt because I wanted it to feel more daytime rather than the trouser that I had worn before. And um, I also just wanted something very easy and comfortable that I just wouldn't have to like worry about pulling up or fixing or whatever. So the top that I'm wearing is from RUMI and my favorite thing about this top is definitely the back detail because it's open back, it ties, and something really cool about this top is that you can pretty much customize how high or low you want um, it to sit. So 
the more you pull the straps, the higher the top comes. And the less you pull the straps, the lower the top will sit. So obviously if I'm wearing a crop top, I'm trying to go all the way. <laughs> I like my crop tops to, to sit pretty high and be like bra tops, you know, I want to show off my stomach. So um, I like to have it pretty high. And I feel like the neckline of this top just makes it a little more chic, you know? Get what I'm saying? Then the skirt, I think this skirt is from a brand called Sunder Bay, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I'll either have it on the screen or in the description box below so you guys can check it out. I like it. On the day, I wore it pretty low rise because, I don't know, that was just the vibe and I really, really like this. Then the shoes that I went for are these black um, mules. These were a hand-me-down from my, from my older sister, so I'm actually not sure where they're from, but I have seen many versions of this shoe online, so I know by far has some, um, so I feel like you could find this shoe anywhere if it was something you were looking for or if you wanted to kind of recreate this look. Then for my bag, I just kept the same one again. I can't seem to remember what bag I wore on the night, but let's just pretend it was this one, all black, easy, um, and yeah, so this is, this is the look. Okay, this look, I did not see my dress, so please try not to judge me, but this look is, you're going to lunch and then going to have a re-sling on a yacht with your close friends. I am manifesting yacht energy so much this summer. No, that's those are the wrong words. I am working on manifesting yacht energy this summer. And I hope that eventually it will happen because I'm just trying to be on a yacht twerking in a thong this summer. I suffered for 19 years. It's time for me to shake my ass on a yacht. Oh, oh, my God. God. In, Dubai. in a thong. Oh. Anyway, so this dress is from, can you see my shoes? I feel like you can't see my shoes. Okay, so this dress is from Nasty Gal. I actually purchased it for a particular occasion and then when the dress came in, I don't know, I ended up not wanting to wear it. However, I figured I would save it for, I don't know, a vacation or something. So um, I love this dress because it's very puffy, has voluminous sleeves, but it's still really super comfortable and it's not heavy. So I like this because even though it's super puffy and dramatic, it's still very breathable and comfortable. I do sometimes feel like items that are this puffy can trap a lot of heat, but um, just off first impressions, this dress doesn't really feel like it would do that. So yeah, I like it. Um, and I like that I could also, you know, pull the sleeves down to make them more puffy and to also show the decolletage a little bit if that's a vibe that I was going for. Um, but I find that, you know, this is a more cute situation. Then you pull the sleeves down and it's a sexy situation. So whatever vibe you're feeling, honey, you pick. Um, then this bag is from Kuyana. I actually just did a collaboration with them on Instagram for a post so this bag was actually gifted to me by them and I have worn this bag so much already because it's just the perfect size and um, I like the color it's like this perfect off-white so that's why I wore this bag because I felt like I would want a bag that I can still see whereas if I wore a bag that was just as white as this dress it will kind of get lost in the mix then my shoes are these really cute kitten heels that I got from Revolve. I don't remember the name of the brand that I got them from particularly on Revolve, but I just do know that they're from Revolve. I like that they're very um, low, like they're like the tiniest kitten heel, so I'll be comfortable with them all day. If I'm on a yacht, I'm most probably barefoot. However, should I decide to put shoes on, at least I know that I'm not falling because the heel is very low. And then I can also wear these all day, so if I'm having a long day where I'm going for from lunch to a whole day on the yacht, and then who knows where we're going from there, 
at least I know I'll be comfortable because my shoes are not too high. And then of course, I might want to protect my face because we have to protect this beautiful face. I will bring my hat and just have, you know, a little moment. Also great for pictures. Someone, someone invite me onto their yacht right now so I can show up in this, please. Okay, I know I'm doing a lot, but I'm just, the vibes are right. So anyway, yeah, this is the yacht look. Thank you to my friend for asking me to create a look for this scenario because it made me really happy. Next look. Okay, so I'm changing the scenario to my nephew's soccer practice because I'm not trying to manifest any kids for myself. So, um... I like this outfit because I think it's super chill, but it's still cool. Cool enough that I'm not gonna embarrass my nephew, you know? Because I feel like kids tend to be very embarrassed of their parents. Um, sometimes their parents' siblings, but I feel like with this, my nephew would be like, whoa, you look cool. He might even ask to borrow the outfit, you know? Or he might even ask, like, where did you get your shoes? So I feel like this is just one of those outfits that will protect my nephew's self-esteem, if you get what I mean. So we'll start with the sweater. This is from Lacoste. Very comfortable, very, very good quality. I haven't had the chance to wear this because it came right on the cusp of like spring and summer. So I feel like it was just getting too hot to wear this, but I, I am certain that once it starts cooling down for fall, it's gonna be one of the first items that I reach for. I just styled it with a white, crew neck t-shirt underneath that I got from Uniqlo. I Uniqlo is my go-to for basics. Um, I'm pretty sure I've featured a bunch of Uniqlo t-shirts in my channel, in my videos in the past. And um, these jeans, gosh, I honestly don't know where these are, are from. I got them when I was in Japan and I just like the silhouette of them. I like that they're not like your traditional straight leg, but they're also not just like your average baggy jeans. They have a very particular shape to them that I think, you know, kind of flatters my frame and makes kind of anything that I pair these jeans with cool a lot of the time. Um, and they're very, very comfortable and breathable, so they're very perfect. And I definitely want to be comfortable, you know, when I'm sitting watching my nephew's game. I also want to be prepared should a ball accidentally come rolling towards me, which is why I'm wearing these sneakers, which honestly are my favorite. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know this because I went through a phase where I could not stop wearing these and I was posting on my story almost all the time. But these are the Nike and Undercover collab. These are the Daybreak sneakers and love, love the green. It's perfect. So, definitely gonna have some sunglasses, you know, because I don't want any parents thinking that they can look into my eyes, you know? I'm there for my nephew, not for anyone else. I'm not there to make friends either. So, see, I'm the young, cool aunt, so I would want to sit there and look like the young, cool aunt while protecting my son, my nephew's self-esteem. So, I think these are perfect. These are from the specs my favorite sunglasses that I wear almost all the time. But yeah, so this is the soccer aunt look. Very comfortable and very me. Okay, so this look is for giving a presentation at school, which honestly took me by surprise because I never dress different for presentations but I can understand why someone would want to. So I just kept it, you know, clean, but also pretty casual because it's school um, and I, I just feel like it's not that deep. Um, so I just went for um, a kind of casual blazer look. I feel like this is also something I'd be able to wear out. So I feel like it's a nice balance where I'm not being too um, serious but at the same time I have cleaned myself up enough that if people are looking at me at the front of the class you know they're not gonna be they're gonna be able to take me seriously basically is what I'm saying so my blazer is 
gosh, pretty old from Zara. Um, then my shirt is thrifted. I got this from The Real Real, and the brand is Theory. My jeans are from a brand called Naked, and they're just, you know, classic denim. I feel like denim kind of balances the look by dressing it down a little bit. Um, whereas if I had worn trousers, I might as well would have been in an office because of the blazer and the shirt. So I decided to go for some denim since I'm a college student. And then just kept it pretty casual with my Air Force Ones. Um, I don't know, I feel like Air Force is always a really good sneaker. It's very universal. It can also look really, it can also really pull a look together. But also if you want to make your look super street style and casual, it can do that too. So I feel like it was the perfect sneaker for me to put on for a look like this. And yeah, not much to say about this one. Just super casual, but still doing the things. And it's comfortable too. So if I had to wear this for the rest of the day on campus and I wasn't changing, it wouldn't be a train smash. Okay, so. You're flying to a city of your choice, but as soon as you land, you gotta look cute as hell. Comfy and cute. Okay, those are some strong words. So, this is definitely gonna require an outfit change because realistically, I'm not flying in an outfit that I'm not comfortable with, and I'm also not, a, you know, looking necessarily cute in an outfit that I was flying in. Does that make sense? So if I'm flying, I'm most likely wearing something like this. I love leggings. Leggings are a go-to for me when I'm flying, either long, um, mostly long, especially because I tend to get cold on flights. I'll always do a comfortable top. So I just went for this black t-shirt from Uniqlo. Um, I might even do a sweater again because I tend to get cold on flights. But you know, if, if it's like a quick flight, I could probably hold it together for like an hour or two hours. Then I would do maybe a light jacket like this, maybe take a sweater to, you know, throw over or um, even like use as a scarf or something. But let's just pretend that I decided to go with this jacket because I'm feeling like I can handle the AC and the flight today, okay? So also Air Force um, because sneakers always for me when I'm flying. I don't like to fly in open shoes, again, because I tend to get cold. So even if I'm not keeping my shoes on, I at least like to have socks, but just, I like to put my feet away on flights, so I'm doing sneakers. <sighs> I have a carry-on too, because I, I always have some sort of carry-on, either if it's like the little carry-on luggage or some sort of duffel bag. Now we do an outfit change because they just announced that, you know, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 10 minutes to landing, but I'm like, cool. I'm gonna get myself together. So I change. together um, so I'm gonna throw on this blazer that I got from Nasty Gal this is actually a part of a set it has matching pants um, and the reason I went for these shorter leggings is because I thought they would look better um, for styling so I like this blazer because it has shoulder pads so it's immediately gonna kind of elevate the look even more um, since you know without a blazer this look would be pretty dressed down then I decided to go for these three inch heels just these barely there sandals because sometimes you come out of the plane and you're not necessarily ready to get into heels some people's feet get swollen on flights or some people's feet I don't know get all tingly and numb so you're not necessarily ready to get into some six inch heels I know I probably would be but that's besides the point. Just in case, I would go for something a little more comfortable like this, just because I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how long I'm gonna be there. I just know that I need to look cute when I get there. So I'm going for something a little more safe. Then we're gonna pull out the bag because we always gotta have a bag with us. 
and then we have our sunglasses. So I feel like this is practical, but cute. I don't know why I necessarily wanted to do the kind of bluey green shoes, but they just felt like a random pop of color that I wanted to brighten up the look and not make it look so boring and black and white. Okay, now I feel like I would be ready for wherever I have to go. I'm, I'm cute, I'm comfortable, um, and I'm a little bit sexy too, maybe, you know, just maybe. Okay, so this is the birthday dinner with family and friends outfit. I don't know if this is supposed to be my birthday dinner or attending a friend's birthday dinner because the person who sent it didn't specify. However, I feel like this is a nice in the middle um, outfit. Honestly, if it was my birthday, I would probably have a shorter skirt, more revealing top because I'm pretty risque and my family knows that, um, especially on my birthday. I love that. So um, yeah, but this is also something that's really cute and I would definitely wear, especially if I was going to someone else's situation. Um, this is a wrap dress that I got from Maritzia. I like this because it's both a blazer dress and a wrap dress. And I also like that the sleeves flare out as they get closer to the hand. So it gives it like a really nice detail. I don't know if you can see that. And I also like that since it is a wrap dress, once you tie it, I like to kind of, you know, pull the dress out a little bit to just, you know, make it a little shorter, but also create a little bit of a draping detail around the chest area and around the waist area. So yeah, this is the situation. And then I brought back the Louis Vuitton bag because this is kind of a go-to for me and obviously goes with the outfit. Then for shoes, I went with these strappy heels that I got from Tibby. I think I've had these for like five plus years now. They're pretty old, um, very comfortable. And I also wanted to do a navy situation just to kind of break up the black instead of doing like a full black outfit, if that makes sense. So yeah, I love these. I like this look, it's super comfortable. And it's definitely something that I would wear to a birthday dinner, either mine or a friend's. So yeah. So this was the last outfit, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. I will definitely be coming out with a part two because you guys gave me so many scenarios. So if you have not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on part two of this video. It'll also be a little more spicy because you guys gave me some very spicy and cute scenarios. Um, so I'm excited to get into those. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. You met a guy at a coffee shop and he is rich. After a couple of dates, things are getting serious and you think he's gonna ask you to be his girlfriend. <laughs> what are you going to wear to the fancy restaurant that he brings you to? No pressure, but pressure. Aw, you know, honestly, I, I like that shit. Like, I still like that stuff because I'm a hopeless romantic and men don't do that anymore. Men don't ask you to be their girlfriends anymore. They just assume that you guys are dating. And I don't like that. Be cute and ask me to be your girlfriend. That's what I freaking want. Ask me to be your girlfriend. Look, look at me. If I'm showing up at a date looking like this, Ask me to be your girlfriend.